What's up, guys? It's your girl, Madame Meeks, and I am back with more Cowboy Bebop. Down below in the description box, I link to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Madame Meeks. And over there, full link version of my reaction as well as YouTube clear and selectively access series. And I also have a merch shop with t shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, all types of things with original design. Also, you can pull them monetarily. Those are your two options my Patreon and my merch shop. You do not have to support monetarily, support me free entirely. How, you may ask? Subscribe. Why? Yeah, it's free. It costs zero dollars to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. And that's it. So, last time on Cowboy Bebop was the Jet episode. First of all, the banter between spike jet and Faye is always top notch but since um what's his name jet was off the ship doing his own thing for once it was just spike and Faye, and them going back and forth is so funny the shower bath shower combo hilarity <laughs> it's so funny like that whole conversation was hilarious this was uh, a jet episode where he went back to his old stomping grounds to work with his old partner because udai i remember udai's last name he escaped on a prison cargo uh, crash and he was out there in these streets wilding. And so Jet was like, well, we got to track him down so we can figure out who actually was the dirty cop that shot at me and tried to kill me. And I got framed for being so that that's what he did and finally tracked him down where Jet found out that his old partner was the crap hole. He was the stupid. He was the one who betrayed him. And now that he's dead and, you know, Jet killed him, Chalmers was like, listen, this is the only person who could have cleared your name. And now we know have no more. We know got hims. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say these two shot each other and that's it. Because I thought that Chalmers was the guy that they were gonna have do the betrayal of Jet, but I'm glad he wasn't. I like, I like him over there. He looks so weird, he looks so dirty, but I like him over there for that. We also caught up with Vicious and Julia where he's now officially getting sick and tired of the elders and he wants to get rid of them and he tried to broker an agreement with Mao at Julia's insistence because Julia is trying to set herself up to leave and be protected because Vicious the way he acted right now is not conducive to her being okay because in order to hurt him they're gonna hurt her and she's like I just I can't I'm gonna try to remove myself in that situation. Vicious is currently kind of upset at her for overstepping her bounds because because he wasn't gonna deal with Mao and she decided to give Mao what she wanted, which was a song. I, I, I feel like there's something more with that as well. Like she, the song she was singing was a message to Mao. That's what I'm thinking. The conversation between Mao and Vicious, since she was there listening, she picked up on some clues and she was like, well, who took out Gunther? Like who took out her, her main or their main um, hitman? And he was like, don't worry about that, somebody else. And then she thought about it and she was like, oh shit, Fearless is alive. And I'm like, yeah, there we go. There's the storyline. There we go, it starts. On that note, let's go ahead and jump into season one, episode six of Cowboy Bebop, Binary Two-Step. It's a miracle that you were ever airborne with all the chewing gum and duct tape. And that actual duct tape. Look, it was working just fine till last night, thank you. <laughs> all right, let's open her up. That was me. All right. Yeah, we're overstressing the converters and when they fail, you're crushed in a hard Why are you hovering? Can you fix it? Just because it's a stereotype doesn't mean it's not true. Radical Ed! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Asshole. Who took that picture? Let's talk about it, sis. That's real close. The mechanic has us by the sack hairs. Says we need a new stabilizing coil. No. Wait, what was this shit again? The free your mind and the rest will follow? This shit killed 3,000 people. And the spit is this. It's going by a new cover name now. Dr. Londis. It's a rich bounty. Bigfoot bounty. <laughs> Rabbit hole. What do you got there? Did they really find Bigfoot for you guys? A railgun? I just feel like in the year of our Lord 2021 that somebody should have had clear HD footage of Bigfoot by now. Listen, I'm Did she buy a gun? Park. While I'm gone. Check in on the mechanic, make sure they're not dicking around on my time. Total scam. It's not a scam. This thing can shoot a paperclip through a human skull at 2,000 meters. Making it the worst gun ever for a bounty hunter. Hey, I'm supposed to make sure you're not dicking around. Your boss is a proper prick. Oh, he's not my boss. Is that a rail gun? Yes. As a matter of fact, it is. It's a beast. It shoots metal alloy using magnetic fields. Cool, right? I heard they're a total scam. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. May you? May you touch the gun? Whenever I see a good-looking beast, I just touch 
Sir, sir ma'am. Yeah, touch away. <laughs> How tall is she? I can never tell. She looks tall here, but she looks really short next to the guys. I was not even small enough to fit in the chamber. <laughs> mm. It's still very cool. Thanks. Then why don't I give you ammo? Get back to work. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing here worth taking. Except you. Come on. Same with you. Mm. Knew it was coming. Come on. Spit your shit. Talk your game. Spit your shit. Now that I know this is an Ed episode, I know exactly which story it is. Where are they? This looks nice. Like, not crappy. God, this, they built this whole set. It's so strange. It's so cool looking. We're so happy you're here. Please, come with me, friend. Mm -hmm. Londo's center, we are all searchers on a quest for freedom and harmony. Follow me. Are you ready to let go, friend? Free your mind. That's so in, that's in vogue, you guys. Don't think I don't know. Bro, I'm not following these here, TVs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lost one. Mm -hmm. Where do I start? Oh, not in the chair. I would not do that. Sit in the chair. Have a seat, friend, and place the goggles over your eyes. Uh, I just want to meet Dr. Londres. You will soon. And Dr. Londres wants to meet you. But first, a brief orientation. What if you don't want to sit in the chair? Is that going to strap your ass in? That's what it looked like. Thanks, you. Oh. But first, let me take you on a journey. Hey, a up close eyes. Ugh, the holes. But first, let us take the next 90 minutes. 90? ...of our consciousness as it relates to the primordial animal you need to... Why is the camera, like, fish-eyed? found you. Julie. Hi. Hi. Morning. They're coming for you today. Vicious. Not just him. An entire army of them. You have to run, Dolores. Run so far they'll never find you. I'm coming. No. I'm here to be with you. Is this? I came to save you. Did... I already lost you once. I'm not losing you again. I can't tell if this is real or not. I don't think it is. Between us, it's just lost time, that's all. They'll be here any minute. You have to run. No. Yes. Please. You have to let me go. Ha! I don't think this is real. I don't think this is real. This can't be real. That can't be real. That can't be real. That can't be real. That's what I'm like. Hiding back there. I knew it. Come on, Spike, pick up. Jeez. Oh god, it's like the kingdom. You need to tell me that it's not safe for me. Mm -hmm. Vicious this man. Mm-hmm. Come with me. Fearless. There isn't much time. I'll be here any moment. Fearless, I came here. Only to warn me. I'm not leaving here without you. Fine. You want me to go, I will go. But only if you can tell me that you've never thought about me. That you've never thought about us. Can you tell me that? If you can, then I will. Bruh, he doesn't know. I'm like, listen, after the second run through, I'm like, bruh, we've been through this, haven't we? Come with me just one hour. That's all. But I like I how the computer's adjusting. Please. To talk. Just to talk so you understand why we can't be together. I'll take it. 
Uh, is that TV broken? Take off the goggles. You fight. It's supposed to be what Ed's dad. I'm attempting to save him. Are you Londes? No. For what exactly? That. An AI I created. Everybody is moisturized. Look at that. Moisturize. You're not kidding. I don't know. Maybe. So I was your first. Okay, yeah. Your first. Wow. <laughs> first. I like how they play this song every time she talks about it. Where's Ayn? Is Ayn just like looking at you like, dog, hey, ma'am? Not the, not the tattoo down the back. I would risk everything for you. Julia, I waited for you that night. But you never came. Give me some context. That's why I love it. I was told you would show somebody up. I was afraid. Tell her. <laughs> and then what? He be dead, dog. It's game over. Jet's gonna get my message. You have to go. You have to leave me. Forget me. It's the only way you'll ever be safe. Forget you. No, girl. Hey, hey, the numbers are going down. That's good, right? Yeah. The longer he fights back, the longer we have to shut it down. Is it gonna work? Ma'am, you just need to leave and make him mad. Make him smad. Is this AI falling in love with him? Is that a thing? Is that a thing that's gonna happen? That vicious will hunt us down. He will kill us. That will not change. They're here. Jesus, you okay? We can't shut it down from here. You're gonna have to cut the power from the mainframe. Where's the mainframe? Earth. Fucking Earth. Pick up, pick up! God damn it, where is he? Come on. No, you have to go without me. Go. He not. But I can't. He not. He not finna. You killed me. No. <laughs> It's like more blurred too, except for where he's looking. This is so cool. Is that dropping the numbers down? What the fuck? Oh my God, do you knock? Not him grabbing the wrong thing. You can't be out here thinking with the incorrect information, sir. So is he making it shorter? Earth's astral gate accident. I see you. I see you. Each nosy. I see you. Look at all this debris around Earth. It's okay. We're gonna get through nope. This. He is not going to learn his lesson. Rescue! Look at where we are. When I said I didn't feel safe, I wasn't talking about Vicious. I was talking about you. Julie, that's not it's the safe. truth. You can change your name, Spike, but you can't change who you are. My husband may do bad things, but you are the psychopath. Husband? Is that he? Did, did he know? He just didn't know. He knew. But she now she's got to fix it. You got to actually spend the money to get the core. I don't love you. I could never. Bruh. Love it's getting you. It's getting you to the 90s. Drop it back down. He's still murdering. I, he's still murderizing people. Try to get it. Bless it. Stand back. I love how she's assisting. And just let me go. Jet move.
cuatro. Listen, the way they be taking these stories and doing this to it, I'm here. <laughs> no, not him tooted. Oh, not he booty tooted. Oh, his booty tooted. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Those goggle things. What'd you see in there anyway? A lot of shit. You fucking remember. So, you're just gonna zip and dip? <laughs> well, I mean, unless you're moving in together. We're not? <laughs> you're cute. Very cute. Probably some time? Sure. Yeah. But first, you gotta figure out how to deal with you guys. Look at that. I like this. Come on now. Come on, sis. I need to figure out how tall she is. You fucking remember. I told you, you're gonna get it right out the trash. But the doodles and peppers look disgusting. I hate, hate peppers. Oh, they taste like dirt. Wow. Are you living in- Listen, give me the same tags at the bottom, please. It's so good. It's so good. This is so good. It just works. It works. And I'm so sad that, that nobody, like the people aren't giving it a chance. It just works. And now we've got a little Radical Edward in the building, okay? So now I'm wondering when are we actually, there's only three more episodes left. Probably episode 10 is when we get Radical Edward. Um, because I did see the little clip of it, but I don't know the context of it. Because unlike other people, when it comes to television shows, I tend to to go in with an open mind. Come on, dog. It's it's entertainment with that AI and just made it into this. It's so cool. So on that note, guys, thanks for hanging with me and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.